This now their third straight game playing a pressing team. Miami, of course, makes up two of those. Syracuse was the other. The Seminoles got the win over the Orange. We're going to talk about a little later the transfer who's from Croatia, but a great job getting over on help side and forced FSU to make a bad decision. First bucket of the game is made by Destiny Harden. So much easier to set up your defensive pressure off of a make versus a miss. Valencia Myers calling for it inside. Got herself good positioning and the two points. 35 on the clock in quarter number one from the Tucker Center. Starting five for the Seminoles, Bianca Jackson, Sammy Puisis, Courtney Weber, Morgan Jones, and Valencia Myers. And Courtney Weber down for a second. It was, that was Weber. Weber for sure. <laughs> Courtney right. Weber shooting 46% from three. Seven to the score. Poesis, boy, she doesn't get an open look that often, and she took advantage of it that time, Kelly. That's what you love to see if you're Florida State. Poesis has some range. Part of the first meeting between these two teams last Sunday, 23 of them led to 21 points for Miami in that game. 23 Florida State turnovers, that is. And there's a basket, finally. Miami is probably not going to win the basketball game. A steal. And a still you one oh. back by Florida State and Courtney Weber getting the basket after all of that. Good defensive play. And then Harden just turns it over too easy. Miami, four points, five turnovers. Got a good look that time. And Jameer Houston is able to get some more much needed points. A game versus Syracuse recently. So Jameer Houston, another one of those guards. Miami has a lot of guards. They play a lot of four out, one in. Mentioned Coach Meyer, Katie Meyer, picking up her 300th win at Miami. She did that against the rival Seminoles last Sunday. And a good bucket there by Roby. Reese has tried to get a piece of that, but Roby, a strong finish inside. Again, Miami needs a post presence. They need someone to score inside for them. Now the KL Cancer Fund going on in her honor. And I love how the KL Cancer Fund says they're taking better shots. They're not playing into Miami's hands. Miami has to force them, either by forcing turnovers or forcing bad shots, and that will lead to better offense for the Canes. Florida State in general, they are, I know they've been known as a football school, now maybe a men's basketball school with Leonard Hamilton and the New Bloods. Going to be back in action in this as I mentioned, spring's busy anyway, but now we're adding the fall sports into the spring as well. So busy campuses and control rooms for all of our hardworking crew. And threes. That's modern yeah. basketball right there, Jen. Right? And I was just looking to make sure she does. I mean, she shoots at about 30%, despite shooting one of 13 from three against the Seminoles. Jackson continues the hot shooting for the Seminoles. She played really well against the Knolls just a week ago. Let's see if she can get going in this one. Myers and Umbandu. That'll be a fun matchup to watch in the paint. The women's side of the ACC and the men's side. And Coach Wyckoff talked to us about this. She thinks there's just a lot more routine. There's a lot more that stays the same when you're playing at home. Mason picked up her dribble, needs a little help. Marshall, good place to go. And Kelsey Marshall hits, no problem. They are in the midst of a very busy stretch, bit of an odd schedule for the Hurricanes. They had no games over a nine day stretch. Now they're the second of four games in eight days. Lost Wolfolk, they lost Kai Gillespie. To earn a top four bye with an interim coach and Brooke Wyckoff, that would just be an incredible accomplishment. Look, Florida State, they shot the ball well. They don't normally shoot it this well. Will they come back to earth or can they keep this up here at home? Well, they have that option, too, a little dipsy do. These two teams, which was just a week ago, they finished that game strong and wound up winning at 68-52. But right now, Courtney Weber. Meyer, one of the best coaches we have in this league. There's no doubt about it. Myers, the turnaround is good. Reset to 20 on the foul. That was an absolute bailout. And a good job by Baldwin to attack the basket, but Roby has to know. As they got the ball back, now it's two points for FSU. Nothing but net by Weber on that last bucket. She's in double digits, and Roby gets a couple back on this end. Yeah. 
great. Jackson, yes. what a dish. Now they have three players in the top 25 in scoring and three players that were not called upon to do a lot last year. Now they're being called upon each and every night to score the ball consistently. Huge swing from the last meeting where Miami had 48 paint points against the Seminoles last Sunday. This is a game where she hasn't been asked to do too much. I think everyone around her is, is really contributing with Myers and Weber and Puisis. So Jones has just done what's needed so far. Myers has really been a handful down low for Florida State in this game. Six on the shot clock. Puisis, you know she thought about it from out there. She's always looking to launch, which I love. Jackson is back. That was a tough shot. I'm not sure how Bianca Jackson got that to go, but she found a way that late shot clock situation. There's the first points for Mbondu, and credit that assist from Harden. Points, 12 rebounds in the game for Harden. Puises, how you doing? Because Sammy Puises loves the classic 90s television show Friends and that is an excellent job by the play-by-play -play person Ooh. for getting that in there, Jen. Harden is just involved in everything in one way or another. Sheen and Bondu have found one another for some points. That three set up perfectly and knocked down by Goni. Fed the game up a little bit, making Florida State uncomfortable, but that pass, that's not what you want right now if you're Miami. Poises taking advantage under their lead here. The Seminoles led by as many as 18. Hurricanes have make it a run in this third quarter. Seven on the shot clock, and Bondu knocks it down. Force her to make an early pass when they trap, just like they did right there. Myers, nothing but net on that turnaround. I think Florida State could make some noise in the tournament. They have to make it first, but their resume is looking good right now. Miami finally gets some points. Those are their first points for the Hurricanes in this game. And FSU's done a good job of keeping Miami out of transition that resume. But to me, their best win is the win at Virginia Tech. That win looks very good. And here's a situation where we can talk resume all you want. Bianca Jackson, seven assists and just three turnovers tonight. That's been the biggest difference maker in this game. With the shot clock going down for Weber. 23 turnovers to just 13 today. That has to make Coach Wyckoff really happy to see such an improvement in just seven days. Mason, what a drive for the Hurricanes. Got to go a little quicker than this, though. That three, a huge one. Would have played in the NCAA tournament, but didn't get a chance to. So you have some older players, but you don't have a lot of NCAA tournament experience. Would get those teams a double bye in the ACC tournament. Final shot from the Hurricanes will not fall. And Miami does as Florida State hangs on to win it 67-59.